Welcome to our uh, 2020 Winnebago View 24D floor plan. I'm going to do a walkthrough and show you some of the ways we've customized it to make it uh, work for us. It may not work for everyone, but it does work for us. So I'd like to show you a tour of some things that other people uh, don't show as well as how we customized it. Let me start out in the front. Put this uh, uh, coat rack here and it's really just to hang, hang these hats. Nice place to put hats. I'm sure there's uh, uh, tons of other places you can put hats, but I like to have them up here. It doesn't uh, get in the way. Behind the passenger seat, we have one of these uh, Overland gear guides. It's a pocket organizer, so it, I don't know. It has tons of pockets, stuff for dogs. We have walkie-talkies in there. More walkie-talkies, bug spray, a light. I, I mean, really... You could probably find something on Amazon much cheaper. Um, I bought this because it's uh, meant for a sprinter van, but in hindsight, could have probably gotten by with something uh, uh, much less expensive. Over here, this is basically where we uh, put our shoes and uh, storage. So if you can see these uh, pockets, this is where the uh, factory ladder would normally be. But we took the ladder out of here. And this is, uh, we like to put the shoes uh, out of the way. And in order to do that, the factory fire extinguisher usually sat here. So we moved that fire extinguisher and moved it over to this side. You know, it's kind of dead space, so we put it over there. Works great. Have one of these uh, rugs so we can just uh, stage our shoes there so we, uh, we don't uh, track in dirt everywhere. Amazing, even without wearing shoes inside, how dirty it gets. I showed this on the uh, uh, previous video, but this is a touchless garbage can. So it's mounted on magnets. I'll uh, uh, provide some links. You can buy this uh, right off of uh, Amazon. I think I've seen this touted on videos uh, quite often, but you know, in 2020 they came out with this new uh, new door, and the tours always show this compartment here. You know, they say you can put your garbage in here, but you know, it doesn't even fit a garbage liner uh, very well, so it's a, it's actually useless as a, gar a garbage can. That's why we put this uh, touchless garbage can in. But it is a great place. We keep our fresh water hose in here, the filters, and all the accessories in there. So it definitely uh, is useful. Let's go on through. Uh, over in the uh, dinette. Actually, we really enjoy this dinette having, having kids. They don't open them up very often, but in here, because we only travel uh, uh, part-time, you know, this side here is pretty much empty. We have some uh, uh, tools. I think that tool bag is bigger than what I need. I could probably get by with a small box. And some miscellaneous parts, tape, uh, emergency parts, you know, fuses and all that. That's in this compartment. Over in this bin here, same thing, mostly empty. I have some paper plates in here, a portable induction plate. And uh, I think some tablecloths and some uh, propane hose that we've never used. And I won't bother opening that far one. That was shown on that uh, previous video. That's basically where we put our extra 30 gallon fresh water tank for a total of uh, 60 gallons. So this table here, it does swivel. It does, uh, you can remove it and the, uh, you remove the legs you move the top and it goes inside these cleats and this is where it can turn into a bed. In 2020, they, uh, Winnebago had you use these cushions on top of the table for a bed. And they would just slide. They were like the mo uh, worst uh, uh, terrible design. So I read somewhere that if you called Winnebago, they will actually send you a new cushion that is meant for this table this size. And sure enough, I called them and they gave the a matching cushion with an anti-skid plate on the bottom and it fits this uh, table perfectly. So in the down position this is uh, pretty good you know it's the length is actually pretty good but the width is not very wide so I would say you, it can sleep two kids uh, comfortably. Two adults may ha have a little bit of uh, trouble. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? The remote control, I showed this before. You know, this usually comes just uh, uh, just hang, hanging, you, you have to mount it. So we mounted it here, so you don't have to actually remove it. 
how this remote control works is it's on an infrared sensor so this sensor has to be pointed at the fan in order to work so the way we positioned that i mounted it where you don't actually have to take it out and it and it functions without taking it out uh the other thing this upper bunk you know it's pretty decent size but barely any headroom good for kids but uh it'd be tough for adults but uh it's a very odd shaped bed up there so for that odd shaped bed a, f a regular uh queen size sheet will not fit well will not fit properly so we got these sheets here i forgot what company we got them for from but we had them custom fitted you actually given them the uh, dimensions and they make the sheets for it so this sheet is a fitted sheet for this bed specifically you know it's all curved on the edges that you can't see but that was uh that's nice that way uh you don't have sheets you know folding up on you and uh again i don't know if it's worth the cost but it's something we did we enjoy it going over to the uh storage side we have these uh you know on the videos they show these uh positive latch buttons Great in theory, but these are actually cheap plastic. But you know, we've had a couple of them uh, break on us already. But they're just cheap plastic. I think they could have uh, spent the extra money. Um, I know on our Class B, we have we actually have stainless steel ones. And yes, they're going to be heavier, but there's literally only like 12 buttons in here, so it would add on, a, you know, maybe three four ounces. But I wish they would uh, change that out because it's not a matter of if it's going to break; it's a matter of when it's going to break. So the that's the other thing is these hinges, you know, they stay up, but if you put them down, they'll actually slam like that. Um, it may be a mod I do in the future, but you can get new hinges that are just soft closed hinges, so it doesn't slam down on you. Um, nothing special here. It's pretty good, good amount of storage. All the upper shelves are lined with carpet. That is really nice, so it doesn't things don't slide around like uh, crazy compared to a slippery wood so we do like that the uh, day and night shades on this side they have a day shade and then of course a night uh, night shade the mcd shades um, but unfortunately we have the single pane windows so that's the same for over on this side so our last motorhome we had dual pane windows and i guess you don't know until you don't have them how much uh, uh, you miss them but these single pane windows are uh, not really a fan of um, and then if I show you these blinds they have these cheap cheap as they get these uh, aluminum aluminum uh, Venetian blinds you know I think they could have done something a, a little bit better but you know the only way to do that is get the dual pane uh, uh windows which we did not option to get and that's something uh, i definitely uh, regret over at the sink we have this uh, uh dish rack here this is uh, a collapsible dish rack so you know with one hand i don't know if i can collapse it but yeah you can collapse it but like that we actually leave it in here permanently because we have this big dual compartment sink Underneath the sink, I've shown this before already with the uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner. But we also have a garbage bag holder here. So that's for just, not a garbage bag holder, but these are the grocery store garbage bags. We do use uh, uh, properly fitted uh, for the uh, touchless garbage can. Um, they do have a filter here. And then here is, this is the, um, you know, the faucet the wand extension and if you ever hear things slamming against the wall this is what it would be and from the factory it doesn't come with anything it's just a metal ball that slams against the wall so I put this uh, piece of foam tape the piece of foam on here so if you hear banging underneath the sink that's likely the culprit um, inside the sink you know we have one of these where it will hold the uh, sponge we used to have where a little soap compartment would fit inside here too I don't know if you really need that, but it is nice to have the sponge so it's not sitting on the sitting on the bottom of the sink. Uh, let's see. I wish one thing Winnebago would change. So these are those leg extensions. So these leg extensions, I think the you know the videos show people using it as a, a chase lounge, but ideally 
it's in it's in two different levels and the way they have it they have some pretty strong brackets i mean they could up, uh, update these brackets to be this should just be turned into just a regular seating and at the same height as this winnebago's listening that i think that's what they should do because even though you're not going to sit on this or you're not supposed to people will sit on it and it's nice just to have extra seating so then there is the murphy bed i have it in a down position already so this murphy bed uh the bedding on it is the Betty's bedding i think uh, most people are familiar with it all it is it's basically a uh, it's an expensive fitted sheet blanket slash combo um i mean there's some things i like about it and some things i don't like about it i like it because it's really easy to make the bed i mean it's basically you get out of bed you zip it up and just like this we can hit the button the button's actually in the bathroom starting in 2020 and your bed goes up just like that so really easy to make but the beddies itself is pretty expensive for what you get let me see if i can do this with i gotta close these legs but i don't find them uh very i don't find them very warm so here it is in the couch mode i didn't show you in the bed mode but when the bed is down the refrigerator does not open up all the way it opens up to about that position it hits the bed so again it is what it is it is physically usable but you can't get to that bottom drawer all the way In the uh, refrigerator, I have this little uh, temperature sensor here. So let me see if I can get the lighting right. So in this temperature sensor, we have, uh, basically I have inside the refrigerator temperature, outside temperature, and indoor temperature. So this is a, a carryover from my uh, previous RV. We are always worried about the uh, refrigerator temperature in the previous RV. But this one is a 12 volt compressor refrigerator. Really like this one. I know some people uh, don't like it. They want to have the propane refrigerator. But I'll tell you what, long as you have enough power, this type of refrigerator way exceeds the uh, propane refrigerator, especially if you live in hot weather. So really like this uh, uh, refrigerator. You know, it has separate controls for upper, uh, the uh, freezer and refrigerator. If you open it, the light comes on on the refrigerator side. On the freezer side, there is no light, but it is a pretty good sized refrigerator. Let me see, the couch wise, uh, I don't see the uh, couch being opened very often, but this couch will go up and we don't store much in here. It looks like we just have a couple of extra boxes of uh, Kleenex. Always carry an extra water pump, you know, in case if your water pump ever goes up, it's a pretty simple fix to uh, uh, replace them. On the uh, 24D floor plan, the water pump actually sits underneath here. You just remove this access panel and there's the water pump right here. You move a couple of screws, the hose attachments and uh, crimp some wires on and you can have that water pump switched out in probably like 20 minutes. Over on this side, let me see what we have here. These upper cabinets. So these upper cabinets, we store some snacks here. This is our spice rack. So on the spice rack, this whole thing actually removes. It's on some magnets. You see the magnets on the walls? They're just on there with double stick tape. The magnets are on the back side of the spice rack. So that way, you know, if you cook, you can take the whole spice rack down and you can use it. You can bring it outside, not have to carry these individual spices. So really like that. I'm just on there with ma uh, magnets. This compartment here is where they have the holding tank this is actually for the gray and black water tanks outside just the 12 volt heaters this is the uh, generator i have the quiet diesel generator which is not quiet at all it's a very loud very loud diesel generator i don't even know why they call it a, a quiet diesel generator this is where the inverter control is so i will close that for now I think Winnebago knocked this one out of the park. I really enjoy having the induction range and the propane stove combo.
So the, we use the induction any chance we get. Uh, it runs off the inverter too, just as long as you have enough battery power, of course, you gotta make sure you have enough uh, battery. We do have the uh, lithium option, so it does help. But whenever we have enough power, uh, induction is probably the first thing we use. Very seldom use the propane if we, uh, if we uh, have to use it. Uh, these drawers, I think I've seen them, you know, they're all backlit. When you open them up, there's a little switch in the back. I don't think you can see the switch. There's a little switch in the back that turns the light on automatically. And then here's the another drawer. And in the drawer, we have uh, drawer liners. So without the drawer liners, it, you know, it's like all those cabinets, a really slippery surface. So we have this thick drawer liner. Went through like two different drawer liners that uh, you buy at the big box stores, but um, they're horrible. You know, they slide around. So finally found some thick ones on Amazon. And these are like twice as thick as regular drawer liners and they don't go anywhere. So really like those. And we have them on all the drawers. Uh, this pan here, this is actually a cast iron pan, and uh, this is pretty cool. I just got this uh, recently because, you know, the cast iron pans, they always make a mess, and we used to store them inside a uh, brown paper bag. Uh, but this is an actual case for cast iron pans. So fitted for the pan itself, they come in different sizes, and of course, um, keeps, keeps it nice and clean. Over on this side here, yeah, I just have a cutting board. There's a pot that's supposed to be in here. I don't have it in here now. So you gotta have a small waffle maker, I guess. Uh, microwave is a uh, convection microwave, but uh, look at the brand name, Greystone. Never heard of the company. I do have a problem uh, with it. My I think my zero button stopped working and my lower buttons uh, stopped working for whatever reason. We barely use it. But out of the times barely using it, it's already uh, stopped working on us. And try to Google search uh, uh, Greystone microwave and you might come to a dead end. Uh, we do have this little rug. It's like a runner. We do have two, uh, a separate one, but I don't use that one. Um, but this is the Ruggables. So it's a two-piece rug. So you can take this top piece out and you can wash it. And this bottom piece is more like an anti-skid mat and a cushion. So this is uh, pretty nice. That way, uh, um, you know, obviously it gets dirty uh, on trips and it's just nice. You just take the top piece off and throw it in the uh, washer. Let's see here. Going to the uh, back. I think everyone has seen the uh, cabinets. The cabinets, this is basically the pantry. These drawers slide out. I do have a mod on here as you see this foam here I have some foam here against the wall and here is if you look these drawers this door stops here so there's this amount of play where the drawers can go back and forth and slam into your door another place for it to rattle they don't have soft clothes here so these drawers can just fly a swing open so what I noticed uh, uh, when I first got it was I always heard some rattling back here and it was these drawers physically hitting this door so put this foam on here, that way it doesn't damage the door and you don't hear all that rattling. I don't know why Winnebago uh, offset it way, it's hard to tell from here, but they put the drawer way in the back. If the drawer was up to the front, it'd have no place to move, but it can free, free swing like this. In this drawer, just a really small storage uh, space, good for clothes, but this is where all your fuses are, your 110 and 12 volt fuses. So these uh, 12 volt fuses are nice. If they are blown, a little red light um, lights up. I think all the new uh, fuse panels do that. So that's nice on the 12 volt side. These are this is just 110 volt circuits here. In the bathroom, uh, there's some uh, items I like to show you that I didn't show you last time. Is this contraption here? This is basically a toothbrush holder. So you open it up, you have some toothbrushes in there. And it's, you know, it's UV light activated, it has a heater. It does uh, uh, have a 12 volt option, but I have it plugged into the 110. But really, uh, in reality, it's just nice to have it as a toothbrush holder. You put the toothbrushes uh, in there, put your toothpaste in there, and it's just ni nice to have. 
at the closet I already showed before, but I didn't show last time. Let's see if this motion light works. There it is. Is I do have another coat hook here. So you can put coats up here or towels there. Or you can hang them, of course, on the hanger. And then I have these little, this thing here. It goes on the uh, um, bar itself. So if you have things sliding, if you have clothes on here, you can push it over and lock it in place so that everything doesn't like rattle. You know, that's one of my uh, main problems or my OCD is I can't stand that rattling. So that's nice to squeeze the clothes uh, tight and it'll stop all the uh, rattling. The sink, uh, I didn't show last time, but on the sink, uh, we'll put an aerator in here. So you can see, you know, normally it'd just be a big stream of water, but you can see the uh, small little stream. That is a water saver feature. So again, with kids, it's nice to, uh, not, not having to worry about uh, using up so much water. That can be, you know, I think I bought like a 10 pack, pretty inexpensive on Amazon. And this is a little cup holder so you can put a bottle of water here and then you know a cup same thing for helping out uh, brushing the teeth uh, they show this is where the uh, Truma hot water heater controls are so I don't need to show anyone that this one is just a soap holder so the soap doesn't go uh, flying uh, another one of those terrible blinds in the bathroom again this Venetian blind so what I did with this one is for a guy, this is not the uh, best position, but if you're actually using the bathroom and facing out the window, you know, it's almost like an audience wa watching you. So pulling up the blinds, I just basically have these one of these uh, insulated uh, panels here. It's a single pane uh, window. So we don't, uh, we usually uh, keep these window shades closed all the time. So uh, put this insulating panel in here. The toilet seat itself, the seat and the cover is a soft close. So from the factory, it comes with just a standard one. It slams down on you. And, uh, you know, if you've ever heard a uh, toilet slamming in the middle of the night, it's nice to have the soft close. So if you can have it at home, you might as well have it in your RV. I believe it was a different size than a standard uh, standard uh, home one. So I know I got that one on Amazon as well. Uh, in the shower... I showed you the shower wand last time, but the shower head, the factory comes with the oxygenic shower head. And you know, from the reviews, people say they rant and rave about that oxygenics head. I've been through a couple of them on a couple of motorhomes and I thought they were the greatest when I first got them too. But after a while, I realized they were pretty loud the way they work. They stream water super loud. And then I'm like, well, at least they, it saves water. And I did a test one day and actually, you know, the, uh, the shower, it didn't, uh, uh, with this shower head, which is a standard shower head, they were equal. The uh, Oxygenics one didn't uh, use any uh, less water than this one. So what I did was I replaced the shower head and also replaced the shower head hose. So from the uh, factory, it comes with a plastic hose that is painted like metal. They physically painted the stripes so it looks like a a fancy hose but it's a plastic one that twists really easy and this one is you know it's, it's like the corrugated uh, metal one this is what I'm used to seeing in all my previous RVs so it flexes a lot a lot easier doesn't twist up as much and uh, looks looks better so over on the shower supply side I put one of these little valves here so when you turn on the shower water so you can see I have the shower water on all the way you can actually adjust this little valve and then you can control the stream of the water from here. Much easier than the, you know, a lot of the shower heads like the Oxygenics or this one has a control button here. But when you're using uh, um, the soap and you have soap all over your hands, these, uh, these little buttons are really hard to use. So this one here, it's just a little slider and really hard to use. You can do it with your uh, eyes closed and this is great for conserving water, especially when you're dry camping. That's it for the bathroom. Uh, let me see. Over on this side here, you will see that I do have the, the engine off. So with the engine in the off position, I don't know what year they started it, but I know for sure in the 2019, the 2020, 2021, 2022, that you have to have the engine running to operate the slide, slide out. 
So there's a mod that you can put on the slide out. So on the slide out, there's a, a few control wires here. One is the ignition switch. The other one is actually the parking brake. So if you get rid of the ignition uh, switch uh, wiring, you can actually operate this slide. I will bring it in. You can operate this slide without the engine on. And of course, you have to have the uh, parking brake on, so the safety feature is still there. So let me bring the slide out in. So the slide out is in. So you don't have to start your engine each time you uh, uh, bring your slide out in and out. Let me close this. Well, I believe that's it for inside here. So if you have any questions, uh, please write down in the comments. And if you'd like to see more uh, videos, uh, consider uh, subscribing. Uh, I think I will kick out a couple of more videos and see uh, see how it goes. Um, so my next video, I'm hoping to do a chassis, all the functions of the chassis that the, uh, the other tours in the factory does not show you. There's some uh, interesting ones that I will share. And then as well as my exterior mods that I haven't shown before, especially in the compartment bays. So stick around for the next video.